Hi guys, this is Rishi from Gundam Galaxy. Today we have something very original uh, for you uh, as part of our video review series. Um, we have the 1-6 scale Full Metal Ghost uh, by B3. An interesting collaboration between uh, 3A from Hong Kong and Bandai from Japan. Um, it is based on uh, the artwork of Kunio Okawara, the person responsible or rather who illustrated the the very first original Gundam, the RX-782. The figure is about 18 inches tall. It's made out of plastic. A lot of weathering has gone into making this figure. Okay, we start off with the legs. Uh, we see the articulated toes. Uh, the articulated feet uh, the feet is on a ball joint you also have articulation around the the ankle guards very similar to the Gundams we see that on in the master grades of uh, the Gundam kids as you see the knee uh, you know goes all the way up halfway allowing for some really high level of articulation and we come to the waist where the these panels come out they also are the ladder for the pilot to get into the cockpit control panel steering wheels are mobile to adjust to the height of the pilot and you have to remove the side flaps to enable the pilot to get into the cockpit here is the pilot. He's a 112th scale, 112 scale figure based on the artwork of Ashley Wood and Mr. Kim Fong. As this is a extremely, I mean, as it is a very, very new concept, uh, there is a lot of literature yet to come out to educate uh, the collectors. But yes, they can start off by buying this because of the level of detailing, the awesomeness that this particular figure has. This is the second figure. Uh, in line by this collaboration. The first one was the Saku, which was released in uh, 2011. That figure was again about 18 inches tall, had equal amount of weathering effect on the and the paint job on the body. Um, had a lot of accessories to go with, but that was based on the uh, entirely based on the interpretation of um, Ashley Wood. What's going on everybody, Naresh Nathan here, and I'm just giving you a height comparison between the Full Metal Ghost and the 18 inch Gypsy Danger from NECA. And if you look at it, the Gypsy Danger trumps over the Full Metal Ghost by um, half an inch at best. Uh, but if they were life size, then the Full Metal Ghost would be dwarfed pretty much by the huge Gypsy Danger. But in the world of the 18 inch collectibles, this is how they look standing next to each other. Uh, this is uh, actual sa uh, samurai uh, brocade, authentic samurai brocade. Yeah, so that is the, this is the main robe. Yeah, it has some dirt and dust from his old battles. It's also weathered and some parts are torn. So this is, that. that's his sword. There's uh, uh, some amount of brocade also on the samurai sword attached to it. The blade is a uh, plastic material. It's kind of sharp at the point. There is some amount of weathering effect on the blade, on the handle as well as the blade part. And uh, that's the sheath of the blade, which also has some weathering effect. So uh, yeah, you can put the blade into the sheath basically, and it will fit in really tightly. Yeah, so this is basically the 112th scale uh, pilot. The joints on this is the standard 3A joints. And uh, there are some weathered, the weathering effect on his uh, clothes and his armor. Uh, he has some amount of cloth on him. And uh, no ankle movement, but he has elbow movement and knee movement. And some amount of head articulation. 
Yeah, so he comes with another head, which is the classic 3A gas mask uh, sort of head. And you can attach the Shogun uh, samurai helmet onto the head. And it looks really authentic. His weapon is that uh, this staff, which also has some amount of weathering on it. And uh, so yeah, he too looks like an authentic Japanese Shogun warrior with his armor and his weapon. So we finally have the full metal ghost in his final look um, with the brocade uh, robe on. Okay, so now we have the light up feature of the full metal ghost. Well, if you see the LED lights are on at the eyes and at the chest plate. The light switch for the eyes is located below the head and the lights at the chest plate is also the lights for the cockpit okay so apart from all the epic painstaking paint job that 3a has brought with this piece uh, and also the fabric that is so classy they also went through the trouble of actually showing you what goes on in the cockpit area so you have the LED lighting and even lighting in the control panel. Why all this? Well, you have the pilot there who goes and sits firmly in place into the cockpit. And it's a little difficult to put him in there un unless you have him in the seated position and put him head first into the cockpit. And from there, just battle. Uh, we have the LED lights at the control panel, one at the control panel, one above the head of the pilot, and two on each of the sides of the pilot cockpit panel. So, so now you have a long pan shot of the full metal ghost.